Hey guys, I wanted to give you the update on the new worm bin that we bought and I already started using. I mentioned that in one of the uh, videos from this week from the uh, Salabar LEDs. Or no, it was uh, the mid-size tent. But this is the uh, new worm bin. As you remember, in some of my older videos, I had the uh, Worm 360 bin that used to kind of sit right there. But this is the new uh, Hungry bin, they call it. This is kind of like an industrial worm bin. Give you guys a little tour of it here. There's the, there's the catchment tray for the worm chelate. Down here is where you get your your finished compost, your worm castings, and then you just basically flip this lever here, this drops out, and as you can see there's a taper in this, and as the, the food moves its way down through this bin, it compresses itself and holds it into the, uh, the bin, and so you don't have everything just drop out the bottom as if it was a straight bin, you'd have that kind of a drop out and you'd make a mess everywhere. But uh, a lot of the videos I saw, you know, it, it does work, so we're going to be trying it out. But uh, we haven't got any finished. I just filled this up two weekends ago with our, our compost material that we were going in the worm bin that used to be here. So there was some finished product already in the base here, so it's going to give it a good start. We already had a lot of worm activity. But uh, let me give a show you the inside. It does have a little latch here to keep this closed, so you can, don't have to worry about any critters coming up and digging this open like raccoons or possums. And it has some vent holes here. And then that's the inside there. It doesn't stink, in case some of you wonder. But that's our uh, shredded toilet paper tubes and uh, junk mail that we get. I use that as the material for my, uh, my brown or the carbon. And we've just been kind of dumping it in and filling it up and we're, you know, we're right about halfway I'd say because we're right about here. So we got a ways to go. But it makes it a lot more accessible to someone who doesn't want to dig around in the trays like I was having to do. You know, Paula, she didn't like that. So now she'll come out here and she just dumps in the, uh, the kitchen scraps, goes into our storage shed, grabs out a handful or two of the, uh, the paper and puts it on top. And that's kind of it. All right, that's a, a little tour of our new Hungry Bin worm compost uh, maker. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys again. Bye.